let's move forward, let's focus on, on what's next. And that what's next is that the future is bright for this organization, for the young guys. Obviously, we didn't accomplish what we wanted to accomplish. Uh, this was just an appetizer. And uh, we're going to show up better this spring training, and uh, eventually we're going to get to where we want to be, and that's holding a World Series trophy. I mean, I, normally I don't talk about what we talk about in the clubhouse, but I, I just addressed the team. Um, I thought our players, I thought they got better through the year. And the team is hungry in a way that I don't think we probably even were before. You get a taste of something like this, you show this to people, what this looks like and what it is. Uh, you know, we're not that far from playing in the World Series. We're playing against the best teams in baseball right now, doing it, uh, <clears throat> a hell of a job going out there, competing against them and beating them. Uh, we didn't get it done in this series. We got beat. But I couldn't be happier with what I saw from so many of our guys, and, and, and I told them that. And we had a team, we assembled a team this year that had a lot of baseball players on the team, guys that have uh, really good feel. They love coming to the ballpark every day. They love to work. And when you have guys that love to work, um, you're capable of more when you have a group like that. And uh, I think that's what we did. And I hope we can continue to assemble really good clubs that, that play like that and that think about the game like that um, and have that type of awareness and, and things like that. I think, it was, I think it was a strength of ours and something that we talked about and we did. And we got some good results. We just have to keep getting better. Through the offseason, it's extra motivation for everyone and just push and know that know what this tastes like and know what the loss tastes like and um, yeah, don't have to eat that next year. Uh, just the growth, you know, I think it's it's obviously very exciting, but um, you know, at the moment I'm just worried about saying bye to everybody and uh, giving them a hug uh, and telling them I'm going to miss them for a couple months, just a little vacation. Um, hopefully we'll be able to go into deeper into the postseason next year. Yeah, there's about a 48-hour window where uh, you're in a little bit of a haze. You know, it, it ends so quickly and so abruptly. But I think as you get a little further away, the sting of that loss, that we'll continue to feel that, and our players will feel that. And that's a good thing because it means you, you, didn't, you weren't ready to go home. You didn't think you were lucky to be there. You thought you had a lot more in the tank. And I think that that's the type of... Uh, feeling that drives an offseason, that drives planning, that drives guys trying to get better and the, the work in the weight room in January before you even show up in Fort Myers. So we're back to work already, thinking about what the roster will look like next year. You never have 26 of the exact same group coming back together. That's always hard. But ultimately, we feel there's a really good core of players in there that'll be a big part of this future. Two young guys are going to be here for the next five, six years. And you know, they're, they're going to be a big part of what we're going to accomplish in this organization. So I'm very excited for, for next year for them, for myself and you know, Buxton and all the guys. We're going to go and get better and we're going to put up better numbers and we're going to be in a really good spot. You know, I think they'll remember one of the best pitching staffs in Twins history for sure. I think the, the, the leadership there, we always talked about pitching uh, being the lead, in, certainly in the postseason, but ultimately through the course of a season. I think they'll remember veteran guys who stepped up for us, uh, not just the, the, the premium players like Carlos Correa and others in playoff performances, but guys like Kyle Farmer and Michael Taylor and Donovan Solano and others who, who are really a big part of this. And they'll remember, hopefully for a lot of years to come, the first season of some of these young kids playing a meaningful role in pushing our team to, the, to new heights and that they will, this will be the moment that they'll remember as we build off of uh, the 23 season into many years to come. We came together uh, both on the field and off the field and I think we had a lot of fun together and you know it didn't turn out our way but I think we played well and we just didn't get the big hit at times but you know that's baseball and um, I think guys will be hungry for next year. Everything matters, every pitch matters, and there's so much pressure, and there's everybody's into it, the fans are into it. Um, the atmosphere is great. Um, and you just you gotta come as a team, and everybody's gotta be involved. It's not just one player. And 
it was just a great moment for us to be here and now I just want to win it all for sure. Any season that doesn't end with the team holding the trophy, you could say that it, uh, it was not a successful season, but like all in all, how, like, how far we can, we've come as a group, you know, like uh, myself included, I was new to this team eight months ago when I showed up to spring training and then just like seeing how everyone evolved, everyone got better. And like you said, like we were able to get the pennant that we really wanted to get. One of the first things I noticed when I became a twin was they, they didn't want what happened last year to happen again. We knew that was our pennant, like our division, like we got it. And then it was just like, okay, but what's the next step? And then like, yeah, we we were carrying like that, and, like that unfortunate history, like the past, like decades and stuff like that. So just getting that done, like obviously helped us. And like, uh, we, we were feeling great. And we had like that good momentum going. We tried to take it and like, with us every single day after that. You know, I, I think that the fans walked in of game one of our wild card series against Toronto, uh, expecting pretty special things to happen. You know, the energy from the first pitch of the game to the last truly was that moment, maybe it was a cathartic experience, so to speak, for all the fans in Twins territory, for everyone inside the organization to get that win. But the key was the next day, when everyone stepped up, came in the ballpark, and it was loud. we proved in this in Twins territory was that these fans are some of the best in all of baseball. That they come out and, and cheer for our guys, they find a way to get behind them. And as Rocco said in one of his post games, the crowd helped us win playoff games. They helped us win today. They helped us win the game and they helped us uh, uh, in, in so many ways out there. You could see it if you're just visually watching and, and seeing how the players were reacting on the other side of the field. Without you guys, truly, seriously, every single day, man, we, we fight, we grind together, all right? Uh, I've come up through the system, a hometown kid, right? Uh, and it truly means a lot to see all you guys' faces around here, supporting us, loving and caring about us. And we're not done yet, so let's keep going, man. <laughs> When I think about what this team can do going forward, it's that taste of the postseason. It's watching our fans be a part of this. That's what's going to drive them to get back. So as we see them through the course of the winter, whether it's on Caravan or during Twins Fest or once we're in Fort Myers and all the fans who, who come down to Southwest Florida and cheer us on during those games, that will be part of the fuel that drives us back, hopefully to having more postseason success.